Welcome guys, I've got a video on Google Stadia that you're seeing here. Now there should be two videos, it was one video originally. This first video should be uh, you seeing the setup, how you set up the free trial, set up your account for the first time, and then the uh, second video will show you how the games look. Just a quick ad hoc thing that I did. Some of the audio levels could be better and what have you, but you know, it is what it is, just testing out, seeing what's going on. So uh, yeah, do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button but don't smash it, I need it for our videos and uh, leave a comment below let me know what you think about the process, the sale process, have you got a Google Stadia, are you getting it if you haven't already, do you plan on using such a thing, do you think it's useful, safe and do you trust that Google will keep the service long open well in the years to come, that you'll be able to still play the things that you paid for, I, I don't I don't know, but anyway check out the video, it's pretty uh, simple enough and then the second video should be linked at the end. Uh, show some of the gameplay and stuff and I might make a video that combines the two otherwise it's like over 30 minutes it's pretty crazy but uh, yeah do enjoy all right so I'm on the Google Stadia page here Google uh, stadia.google.com I want to test it against uh, PC equivalents and console equivalents and what and see how it performs and so forth I'm going to go and use a free trial here. I still am able to because I've never done it yet. I can test out some of the free games. Um, probably have to block some of that out, but it's just emails. I'm going to use my primary gaming email thing. Um, yeah. Usually should read those things though. Avatar, you have to pick an avatar. I can't use my picture. I like any of these. <laughs> These are all kind of, well that guy's pretty cool, but I don't like any of these. You can't use a custom one. You just any time you send this, I don't know, we'll see. And keep the video flowing. Uh, let's hope my name's available. Don't use your real name, use only that as the numbers. Number will sometimes appear at the end of your Stadia name to make it unique. Stadia name and avatar public. How people find and contact you? You can send you friend requests. Ah, more friends, I don't know. more people, I don't care. Who can find your Stadia name with your email address? Is who can find your Stadia name and avatar with the email address used at your account creation? I suppose if they know the email address, that's fine. I don't care. You can send you voice chat and party invites. Voice chat. I'll see how that goes. If it gets annoying, I'll change it. You can send you game invites. Uh, I wish I had that to friends for now. You can see your friends list. Remember, your friends control what's visible on their profile, so your stadium name and avatar may appear there. Um, I don't care. Activity includes games to I most recently played. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm a semi public figure, right? I played the game. Don't care. Achievements or players, fine. Player stats. Don't care, it's fine. Online status. Uh, it's fine. Current game. That's fine. Good that they're asking you all these specific things, I suppose. Steps out on Google's hardware products and related features, servers, and offers, plus receive invitations to help improve. Uh, yeah, right, fine. Use the main address for that. Uh, so one month for Sadia Pro trial. Same programs right now. Take ten pound off your first game purchase. Get exclusive discounts. Yeah, pound ninety nine a month thereafter. Part of the club. Oh. Uh, all right, we're back. So I set up the things. Just put your uh, debit or credit card information in. Charges zero zero zero. Do we get charged from the 20 or the 15th of January 2021? All right. So this is the interface when you uh, sign up and are in. Um, let me make sure everything's recording for you guys here. Yep, we're on pause. Okay, good. Oh, we've got controller information. I haven't got my controller connected right now. I don't know if that's a thing. I'll just connect my uh, box controller. Okay, it's connected. I don't know if that's gonna 
rec all right, controller link to just pop up there. You guys saw that, I hope. Do you all see that? Yes, you do. Okay. So I'm in Chrome right now, obviously, in case you don't know. Controller info, let's see. Any PlayStation or Xbox controller using Bluetooth or USB, or you can ask you what set up Stadia controller, download the Stadia mobile app. But it seems like it's already set up since it kind of recognized it. Unless that was Windows, but then that would have that would capture I'm in Windows capture mode right now. With devices. I want Stadia app to get games, find friends, manage your account, get play available now. TV, wireless link, Stadia control. Go to a TV using Google Chrome, cost ultra, I don't know, Google, Google Chrome, Chrome, Chrome cost ultra, ultra thing. Um, let's check what the free games are about. What is this? It's a help page at all. Game games. Stadia Pro games are free to claim and yours to play with an active pro subscription. Description ends, you'll lose access to any pro games you claim. So it's the same like um, PlayStation Plus or uh, Xbox uh, Live Gold. Etc. Uh, new programs are released every month, and don't forget to check the Stadia store. Find games. Games you purchase are yours to keep. You don't need an active Stadia Pro subscription to play them on Stadia. The only problem with this, I really don't like or trust this idea of buying these kind of things because what happens if Google aren't happy with the performance of the, the service and they cancel it? You just lose all your games? I don't know. Oh, we can. It's nice they got a claim more. You don't have to do like what? You have to do usually on Xbox or PlayStation Plus, which is add them all one by one. It kind of sucks. These are all the games that you'll get currently to play while your subscription is active on Pro. What was that one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and 33 games. Press whatever that is. Set a control F12 and keyboard while playing, save a screenshot. Save a clip, press that button, or press F12. A little longer, so hold down. Save a previous 30 seconds. Um, right, let me claim all the games here. Okay, so that's not a library now. Good. So, one of the games I want to test is um, a game that should be available as a demo for now because I don't want to really buy anything at the moment as a it's that's a costly thing to do right now. Uh, what do I have to do? Yeah, connect to controller. Up oh, and why? What's happened? Oh my controller's already doing stuff there guys. What did that mean the controller and why thing? Control up by entering the link the link code below. I guess it's already done now. It doesn't seem I need to do anything else. Connection tips. Ethernet connection I'm using by the way as well. I got some <laughs> videos running in the background, but it should be fine. I'm on 150 up. Um no, 150 down, sorry, and 25 up. Um Alright. Friends list stuff here. How many else uses a system that uses hash numbers at the back? Is it like that one there or something like that? Okay, that's fine. Guys, feel free to add me as well. I'll add you if you want to. So what do I do? Just run something? Let's just run something now. Now we looked at the whole interface. I'm, I'm like, oh wait, dude, let's just hit the store real quickly. Obviously Cyberpunk, I've got that on the, I've got the open un unboxing for that if you want to see as well as reading Compendium thing, the World Compendium, all sorts, Cyberpunk coverage, sweet coverage, check in the uh, links and stuff, page, I ain't buying it for £50 right now unless, uh, <laughs> unless I become suddenly rich, to buy it again, it's, it's a bit too much. They said it was a Uplay thing going on, or Connect thing going on, I'm trying to figure out what that is as well, like, is that, because that would be good for testing. Because it's kind of meant to be cold, developed by Ubisoft, apparently. And I'm kind of, I want to I test this out for you guys and see what's going on. All right guys, so a little bit weird. But that should be the setup video on how you set up your free account and set up your trial for Google Stadia. It should be the ending piece now. <laughs> Again, it was shot originally in one take, so um, it should work. Okay, it's what you should be seeing on the end of that video. It should be maybe two or three videos, one that's got the gameplay, one that's got the setup and uh this should be the setup one so go watch the gameplay one now if you haven't already or the combined one it should be on the screen somewhere leave your comments below on your thoughts on the setup process if you want to use google Stadia, how you would use it 
what use case you think is do you trust if Google's going to keep the service up even if you uh, use it anyway you know will your games be safe and all the rest of it let me know in the comments below let me know what other videos you want to see cheers <laughs>